I'm no, but I hey, I have always wanted to interview fucking Code Orange and <laughs> Jamie. Love it. Thank you. I'm so glad you're here. We're finally getting to do this. We were just saying. Every time we have a scheduled interview, it just never happens. There you go. But that changes right now. We're here now. That's today. all that matters. And congratulations on the new single, Out for Blood. Thank you. Was listen listening to it last night a couple times in a row. I hear heavy Nine Inch Nails influence and a little bit of Rob Zombie. I don't know if that was intentional with either of those, but it's a little different for you guys. Yeah, it's definitely different. Um, But... It represents, in a lot of ways, who we are. It represents the attitude that we have up there. And that's something that we wanted to do, is we wanted to we wanted to make a song that encap encapsulates in a bubble mm -hmm. like what we're about, what energy we bring to the stage, what energy we bring to this community in general. And, and yeah, you guys do stuff that no one else does. You know what I mean? Like, you're so original. Thank you. And that's why you're so loved and so badass. And, and I love Nine Inch Nails, and I love, I think Rob Zombie's awesome, and I was listening to a lot of DMX. I was listening to Walk, and we were thinking like, okay, so I'll, I'm, I'm listening to that shit, and I'm like, why don't we have a song that makes me feel like this? Yeah. We, we have lots of songs that make me feel all kinds of different ways and represent the different um, artistic holes that we like to go down, but we just wanted a song that literally made you just want to drive off a bridge. <laughs> drive off a bridge. And yeah. it, you, when you recorded that and finished it, it gave you that vibe? Oh yeah, I wanted to run like the Kool-Aid man through the fucking wall. <laughs> I love it, and I'm so excited that I finally get to see you guys live today, because I never have, and I was at NotFest LA, and I had to do my radio show, so I couldn't go early, because that fest festival is so bloody long throughout the day. Oh, I'm, oh, I know. It's like crazy, but- I'm right at the beginning yeah. of it, every day. Yeah, but how's it been it's doing NotFest? It's been cool, I mean, it's been great, like, you know, it's hard to play early as fuck, mm -hmm. but the opportunity was amazing. Yeah. I mean, there's I can count on one hand the amount of bands that we would really want to open for. Yeah. And that was one of them. So when opportunity comes, you know, comes knocking, you take it. Of course. And I think we took every inch of it. I think we, whether there was a thousand people or five thousand or ten thousand, we were winning those people over. Yes, you in were. In a different absolutely. type of way. In a different type of way than what I see a lot of the times, which is people are walking in and somebody's up there and they're screaming and they're, it's the same old shit over and mm -hmm. over again. Mm -hmm. And that goes back to out for blood. Yeah. You know, the reason I wanted to make something simple and as distilled and as palpable and as like immediately grabbable as out for blood is for a simple reason of, I just want something that when those kids walk in that door, not only do they understand it, but they understand what I think is the most important part of us, which is the attitude we want to bring. Yeah. You know, the energy that we want to bring back. Because I yes. see a lot of bands, and I think there's a lot of great bands, especially in the underground and in the hardcore scene mm -hmm. and this and that. But it's an energy that's just bubbling down here constantly. Yeah. And that attitude doesn't break through. So yeah. when, when we're out there with Slipknot and we're out there with whoever we're going to be out there with, we just want to have that fucking spiked bat to swing at people's heads. Yes. You know? I love that. And and I, I don't want them to have to piece it all that. together. So yeah. that's it. And people are super into it. And and a lot of people are going to, to those shows for Code Orange. You know what I mean? I feel I like so. a, tons of people are just like, yes, this band. And so many musicians have like fallen in love with your band as well. It's so cool that you have Corey Taylor behind you and like all these massive musicians. I think that's awesome because where you started from, you being behind the drum kit. And I used to watch YouTube videos of you guys playing, like not even on a stage. Wow. And you know, just like pure hardcore shows. I mean, the journey we've been through is absolutely, he knows behind the camera yeah. right here. I mean, Cameron. The journey we've been through is not normal. Mm -hmm. we, we've been doing this since we were 16, 17 years old. We've slept on every floor. We've played every yep. VFW. We've played every club. We didn't do a couple support tours or we didn't. There's been no, every single inch gained has been just that an inch. Mm -hmm. There's been no jump. Yeah. There's been no this comes out in the next day or this. We've worked for every single inch. Absolutely. And that's just what we expect to do. So, I, I, you know, we're built for it. We're built for that. and. I appreciate you sticking with us that long. Yes. Some people stick with us, some people don't, but well, it is what it is. It's really cool for someone who's been a fan for a really long time, like Cameron and my and myself, guy behind the camera, who we're talking about and looking at right now. 
Um, but yeah, my, my husband and I, we would watch those YouTube videos when it seemed like you guys weren't getting the love deserved and you guys hadn't been discovered from Slipknot and all those bands yet. And we're like, damn, this band is so freaking cool. And he went and saw you guys perform. I don't know where it was, but years and years ago, saw you perform in front of like a hundred people maybe and has stuck through that. And I've stuck through that. And it's so, it's amazing to see you on the come up and just going nowhere but up. Well, thank you for that. I mean, I think that one thing that we do often that I'm glad to acknowledge is we bring in a lot of people and we lose a lot of people. We, we, we take turns, we bring, mm -hmm. we bring in this much and we lose this much. Yeah. So it's a little bit of a longer path, I think, because we are not scared to shake up what we do to make it more yeah. exciting. Not only are we not scared, we're pretty much solely and have been, and as I, and I've said, I said, well, I said this sitting on a, on the steps, you know, in Philly in 2009 or whatever, about to play in a church or 2012, rather. Yeah. We are excited by that. We love performing. We love making songs. We love making albums. But what we really love, what we're, what we're, uh, what we're, what we're vampires for, the blood, the energy, is that feeling of shaking it up, doing something that yeah. is exciting. It's like, and people have seen, you know, we've changed our lineup. We've kept all the same mm -hmm. people, but we've adjusted things. Yeah. Every album, every song, we do something a little bit different. And we do that because to me, this shit is boring. Yeah. Like, I go walk around this shit and I'm not trying to hate on anybody in particular. And I absolutely won't hate on anybody in particular because I got respect for mm -hmm. all the bands out there, but I'm bored. Yeah. I think this shit sucks. Mm -hmm. And th that's, that's why we try to twist it up. So I understand that, you know, some people get on the train, some people get off yeah. and it's all good. All well, you, you guys are constantly just doing you. You're not worried yeah. about, oh, well, are our old fans going to like this new song? I'm not worried like, about shit. Yeah, you're not worried about that. You're just doing what you guys want to do and what your passion is for. And like you said, the the vibe of the song that you want to get. You're doing it for you. You were like, I want to sure. feel like my song, like I want to drive off a bridge. You know what I mean? So you're just literally. doing it for you. I and I love, I literally love our fans. I love the people that support us. Like, like I said, we went from our fans or whatever where people we would stay at their house. You know, it's like and play their house and play the club, the, put the little club they booked or play or have them t shoot the photos yeah. or have them do this or that. Like, so to me, I have, I have a different relationship. I feel like we have a different relationship with the people, at least to us. So I think sometimes as we kind of go on this journey and we're doing stuff like Slipknot and doing this kind of thing, we have to kind of adjust our minds because we're so used to like a certain mentality. Yeah. But I feel like we, the people who support us, we love. But don't get it twisted. We don't give a fuck. <laughs> we really don't give a fuck. Like we're not, there's a lot of bands out there right now and God bless a lot of them. There's a lot of good ones, especially the ones that are getting played all the time that are all about shaking hands and kissing babies and the whole fucking nine. <laughs> That's, and, and I understand that. That's cool. And I, under, I also really do understand that it's really hard right now in the era that we live in where everything is so accessible and everything mm. is so judgeable to really put yourself out yeah. there. Because if yeah. you put yourself out there and you look dumb, like many people have thought we've looked many times, many many people think we did this song, or we did the song underneath, we did that. Then everyone's going to tell you, you're dumb, you're ugly, you look stupid, yeah. you're trying too hard, you're corny, you are just about making money. You're not ever, you're not even big enough. You, they're not even popular. It's too popular. Yeah, too there's hard. so many things. So it's hard and I think it really, really, I do really see it seep into bands' consciousness even if they say, I watch them say over and it over doesn't. again that it doesn't matter and they're mm -hmm. just doing their art and that's what they care about. But it seeps into all of our consciousness that mental beating mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. Like the internet's a beautiful thing, and there's so. But it also positive. fucking sucks. It beats you up. <laughs> yeah, it beats it's you hard. up. And so, I'm not saying, don't get me twisted either. I'm not saying like everybody should do whatever they want. It's it's free for all. We're going crazy. <laughs> all I'm saying is, if you believe in your shit, like we believe in our shit, if you believe in yourself, if you believe in your friends the way that I believe in my four friends, who gives a fuck? Just do it. Well we we've never done and will never do anything. I don't care what anyone says to try to get on this or try to make that. Mm -hmm. We do this shit because it's what we want to hear. Yep. We absolutely want to get out there to as many human beings as possible. I keep looking at the camera because I, I really, I know you know already, you, mm -hmm. know the, you know the deal, but the kids need to know. We 100% want that, but we're burrowing down the same path we were on, the same artistic journey we were on, mm -hmm. you know, and 
it's gonna go how it's gonna go and uh, and the people who get on board i i literally love you like if you i yeah. love you okay. I, I like i back you guys so hard like everything you just said was amazing and a lot of musicians are like sca scared to really speak their mind to and, and good and good it makes sense because i'm not the smartest guy in the world i'm <laughs> half a fucking moron <laughs> and and a lot of these guys are three-fourths a moron that's for damn yeah. sure so they're you know they're you don't want to say the wrong thing. It's going to be there forever. Everybody's going to make fun of you. They're going to say this. You say, you know. So I get it. It's hard. But yeah. if we go out, the way we're going to go out is the same way we went in. Yeah. Middle fingers up. We're doing our shit. Get on board. Get off board. Do whatever you want to do. We love our fucking fans. But if we want to make a song that, if we want to make a song that, makes you want to run through the wall like a Kool-Aid man, we're going to do it. If we want to make the hardest fucking breakdown there is and the most artistic, we've not only already done it, but trust me on that, Every any little band out there saying anything, we can do it. We know how to do it. <laughs> we know how to yes, do it. Yes. And, and we put a couple of them on the last one just to remind everybody. If we want to write a hook, we can write a hook. You know, So we're going to do what we're going to do, but it's all... it. Our fans can know it all really is true to our heart. We don't make anything that's not true to our heart. I would never get up there and mm -hmm. play something that I don't believe Of course, in. yeah. And I believe every word of that. So with that being said, new single, Out for Blood, is out now from Code Orange. It is a banger, so go and listen to it if you haven't heard it already. Hopefully you have. We'll go listen to it again, okay? Let's get it going. We're Call throwing em. it back to Space Zebra, the dudes over there. Tell them to play it. Jamie.